It's always been really funny how um, there's been this trans and Atlantic exchange of ideas, you know, and things that are popular in Europe often originated in the U.S. You know, I mean, if you look at the Rolling Stones, you know, they took old black music that was blues and you know stuff of the South and and you know replayed it in Europe and uh, with a new way and became like global stars. You know, same as with like every you know every kind of music really, especially house music. I mean in the 80s and 90s, you know, dance music in, in America was, was a thing uh, in Chicago, Detroit, New York of kind of black gay youth or as black youth, you know, and then it was exported as a new dance sound of, of America on the top of the pops here and exploded into something that's much greater. I mean, still today, America doesn't have anywhere near as much um, kind of cultural influence on what is dance music culture globally, you know? It's a, really, I think, an English and Dutch and German thing, more than anything, you know? It was originated in our country, and that was still, like, the, the DJs and the, the music, you like, you know, like, a, like a, you know, Ron Hardy, and, you know, these early, you know, Farley Jack Maxer Funk, all these people, you know? Uh, the tracks records, all these records, but they're, they're still quite different than, than, I would say, English Acid House. English Acid House was a bit more pop, was a bit more up, it wasn't as dark, you know, it was, it was for the masses, and I mean, that's, that's what it's kind of been known for.